DCC1 is a dual condition adapter. It's a much simpler and flexible solution to control a device with more than one condition or parameter. It must be used with one of Tromaster's plugin style modules, for example, DSC1, DSP1, DSH1 or 2, and DST1 or 2, then assign the DCC1 to act as an extra DS module. The DCC1 can be mixed and matched with different DS modules to create different combinations. You can set the DCC1 to work in two distinct ways, using the interlock function. When the DCC1 interlock is set to be off, as long as either one of the conditions associated with a pair of modules is fulfilled, they can trigger the on or off of the device hooked up with it, meaning the modules can be used in parallel. When the DCC1 interlock is selected to be on, both conditions associated with a pair of modules must be fulfilled together to activate the on or off of the device, which means the modules are used in series. When the temperature or humidity gets high in your room, you may like to turn on the exhaust fan to remove heat or keep the humidity from accumulating. To control the on or off of the exhaust fan with temperature or humidity, you can use a DST or a DSH and set the DCC1 as either a DSH if you're using a DST or a DST if it's a DSH you're using. Connect the plug-in DS module to the DCC1 using an extra RJ12 cable. You'd also need to link the DCC1 to the main controller using the built-in RJ12 cable on it. Simply press the set button to select the module type you want the DCC1 to be. When you're done, press the address button to connect it to the main controller. Don't forget to address both the DCC1 and the DS module. Then set the set points on the device page as usual. DCC1 will now act with the DS module to control whatever device is connected to it. In this case, it would be an exhaust fan. Since it would like to activate the exhaust fan when either temperature or humidity reaches the set point, we'll disable the interlock function and set it as off. When your room gets too hot and you have to start exhausting the room, it's better to turn off your CO2 tank and regulator so no CO2 would go to waste. To do so, you can use a combination of a DST plug-in module with a DCC1 set as a DSC or a DSC plug-in module paired with a DCC1 set as DST. Take reference of the installation steps and method demonstrate in case 1. They're pretty much the same. The interlock function should be enabled in the setup. You can use as many DCC1 as you want, as long as they stay within the maximum device allowances of the controller. And that's how you use a DCC1. Thanks for watching.